disturbing thoughts invade my rest. Merely a dream, or something more. Perhaps I can reclaim my dream of Svata fame. Hytham, Ranvi asked me to see you, about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belong. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one, but with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if... I believe it will, for we eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranvi about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. I 
I hear a heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You risk your health and your life to please Basim. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we're climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again. The shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Big-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my feet! Ha! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor, a perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. 
Sigurd and I want the same. A land to call our own. And the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Randy about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. Show me what lies ahead. You look striking today, Eivor. Nice. 
Avon. My stable is a bit spared just now, but... My stable is a bit spared just now, but if you can build me something better, I promise you the finest of beasts. A bustling stable would be a great boon here. I'll see what I... Raiding is the surest way. Raiding is the surest way to find treasures and supplies for building up our settlement. And what can I do for you on this fine day? See you, old friend.
To the waves.
You found me out. I bow to this, but you will not unearth us all. You will not dig deeply enough. We are both a clot and cancer. We sit heavy in water, and yet we spread like a river's current. Are you well? Why would you ask such a question at such a time as this? Beneath your words is something of a size unknown, a mystery. It lurks behind every frail word from your mouth.
Fortifications <laughs> there, Ivor. Military outpost. Strain to fall her Save Mention this place, the last known location of the summer army. A friend, an ally. I'm looking for the Summer Army. <laughs> Camp leader is up top. You can't miss him. Hail. 
What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. No. No, we had it for a time. It's nothing but a cluster of wattle and daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grandbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. The Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. That's terrible. How were you ambushed? It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yasko Masuma, she bellowed a retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Looks like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby. Whole course. We'll see what else lies within the fog.
about us. Nearby. Not here. Shoma dragged the sections east from her longship to tire them out and lose them in the fog. There, a beached longship. Dane markings. This was a fine longship. Fit for a chief. It must belong to Soma.
still. You're still in fighting shape. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Stuff some moss in that gash. Wrap it well. Ego. Ego, look at me. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England? All his arms. Nine. Large. And fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. 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 You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no debt to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, Leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grand Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grandsbridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city, but this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grandbridge. 
Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. 